All right, let's do this one more time. Okay, so finally we can start like for real, for real and move around. Okay, so right now I have a cube selected, E default cube, which I can tell that it is selected because there is a, a bright orange outline around it. Okay, and also I have activated the screencast keys over here. So whenever I press something on my mouse or my keyboard, you're going to see it bleep over here. So the first thing you need to know is how to select objects. Just introduce you to the objects that are in the scene right now. We have the default cube, this object, which is a camera, and this object over here, which is a light. So I'm going to select the cube and I'm doing the selection by left clicking right now if i middle click with my mouse i'm going to be orbiting like a planet around the sun right so the middle click lets you orbit and the left click lets you select now, like most commands in Blender, if you start pressing things like Shift, Control, or Alt, you're going to have access to multiple functionalities. So, for example, if you press Shift and then middle click, then you're going to be able to pan around, right? So, panning is when you move uh, the view around, right? But in a left right up down kind of sense and then orbiting is when you're actually orbiting around the object and then if you scroll with the wheel on the mouse you're gonna be able to zoom in and out right so um, those are the basic commands at the beginning it's gonna be probably weird but like everything in 3D modeling, uh, it's gonna it's gonna become like a second nature very soon. It's just a matter of uh, spending some time with it and developing uh, the muscle memory for it, right? So once again, you select an object by clicking on it with the left click. The middle click lets you orbit around, and the middle wheel lets you zoom in and out and then shift and middle click to pan okay so we have covered the basics of actually moving in 3d space and i highly recommend that you spend a few minutes playing around with it so you can kind of get familiar with it but just before i let you do that uh, to wrap up this video I wanted to touch on multiple selections and the concept of the active selection. So right now, the cube is my active selection. And I can tell because it has this bright orange outline. Now, if I were to press uh, shift and then left click on the camera, I would have selected both. But now, the last object that I selected is the camera, which has turned to a bright orange. And if you notice, the cube has turned to a darker orange, right? So they're both selected, but uh, the active one, or the last selection, is the camera. And now, once again, if I were to select the light by pressing Shift, and clicking onto it. Now the light source has become a bright orange because it's the last one I selected. And all the other objects have turned to a darker orange, meaning that they are still selected, but they're not the active selection. And also just remember that it is super likely that at the beginning, uh, something like this happens where you like, you're playing around and all of a sudden you're like lost in space and you don't know what, where are you? Okay, so how do you recover from that? Uh, well, number one, click anywhere, like anywhere, and that will deselect uh, any object 
that you might have previously selected. Then you're going to press A as in all, right, which is going to select all objects, at which point you're going to press the full stop in the numpad, which is to the right of the zero on the numpad, and that will bring you home. So you are only going to be able to do this on a laptop if you have activated the option I've shown in the second video. And once again, if you get lost, click somewhere to deselect anything that you might have accidentally selected. Press A to select all and then the full stop on the numpad to bring you home. This wraps it up for the basics of selecting objects and moving around uh, the 3D space. In the next video, we're going to cover a little bit about the outliner, which if you've been a keen observer, uh, is synced to the 3D scene.